hi guys you're welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how i made this wig without a lace closure and if you want to know please keep on watching after watching this video if you love it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share thank you so much and let's get started This is the hair I'm going to be using. It's called Superstar Hair Collection and the length is from 14 to 18. So I'm going to be using only this pack to make this wig. I'm going to start installing the hair with my needle and thread because this is a stocking wig cap. I don't think this wig cap will be able to hold the heat from hot glue gun if I use it for everything. So I'm going to use my thread to install the hair until I get to where I'm going to create my closure. Then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to create the closure. So after installing the hair from the back to this place that I left out, now I'm going to go ahead and use my hot glue gun to create my closure on this empty space. So if you didn't understand what I did in my previous video with the hot glue gun, please watch carefully. So after applying the glue on the wig cap like that, then I'm going to place the hair on it and make sure the hair stick on the glue before i cut it out or you can cut the hair into small pieces before you start installing it if that will make the installation more easy for you i'm going to repeat the same step until the part is fully closed
So it's going to look like this after using the hot glue gun to install the closure. As you can see, there is no space in between. Everything is well covered up. And this is the reason you cannot use thread to create this type of closure because if you use thread, there will be space in between the, the installation and it's going to look really, really bad when you are creating your part. So you need a glue to stick everything together so that you can work freely while you are creating the part. I'm going to go ahead and start using my comb to part the hair like this until the line I'm trying to create is way defined before I move on to the next step. Now I'm going to go ahead and start using my nail cutter to remove the hair from the part. You can also use your scissors to do this but if you want the part to be very very clean and well defined, you need your nail cutter to do that. I'm going to continue using the nail cutter to remove the hair from the part until the part is fully clean and well defined make sure you don't cut the weft of the hair while doing this you only need to remove the hair and not the weft And I also like to use my iron to slick down the hair a little bit. This actually depends on the type of hair that I use. As you can see, this hair is very, very satanic. So I also love to use my iron to kind of slick it down a little bit. This is totally optional. If you don't like to do that, you can use your straightener to do it. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my Eveline concealer to define the part that will make it look like a lace closure. You can actually use any concealer that you have.
so guys this is all for this video and please don't forget to share and like this video thank you so much for watching i will see you all in my next video bye